Hey guys, what's up? It's Ex Superist here, and today I'll be reacting to episode 2 of Boku no Kokoro no Yabayatsu. Now, this anime has been a breath of fresh air for me. It was funny, it was quirky, there were some awkward moments, but it was very adorable in the way they executed it. I really like the characters, and I'm so excited to see what's going to happen in their story next. So, without further ado, let's get into episode 2 of Boku no Kokoro no Yabayatsu. いつ割りだらけのこの世界。僕、いつかは京太郎はこの世の破壊者として生み落とされた。この図書室は危険な力を沈める聖なる箱として Right, we still don't know what his motivation is for trying to kill her. <laughs> I really love his commentary. And the way that he observes and just... Comments. And he comments on every action that the, the other characters do, particularly this girl, Anna Yamada. <laughs> right. Okay, so now I'm wondering is that the reason why he has chosen to kill her, or that he has murderous intentions for Yamada. Because in the first episode, he never really gave us any clue as to why he wanted to kill Yamada. We only know that she's the prettiest girl in the school, and now we know that she is the prettiest girl in their neighborhood. She's also a model, and maybe that's the reason why she is the prettiest girl in the neighborhood. That's why she got picked. But still, we don't know what his machinations are. We don't know his reason. We don't know what the, what's his logic for for wanting to kill this girl just because she's pretty, just because she's invaded his territory, his sacred grounds in the library. And I I understand that not a lot of high school kids these days, I believe, go to the library. But, still, is that enough of a reason to actually want to kill this girl? Although, you know, he never actually gives us any... He, he never takes any steps toward actually going to kill her. He only thinks it in his mind, right? But anyway, very interesting first few minutes introduction of the show, of this episode. And by far, I really, really am fond of his commentary <laughs> the, the the comedic timing is superb i i tell you this is one of the reasons why i really enjoyed the first episode and hopefully that will continue in this one by the way i never actually focused on the opening song before but now i'm gonna try to look into it Okay, I really love the it's it's poppy, but it's also it's also very chill. Very easygoing kind of opening song. And I think that 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 suits this anime pretty well. Okay. <laughs> okay, then, so they finally see each other. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so he actually decides to help her somehow. Okay. <laughs> okay, how does he pass it off? Okay. Because <laughs> that was a bit embarrassing. <laughs> right, he, she did do that before. ありすきを見て早急にこの世界から入ってきたろうな。もう声優しいな。でも、俺じゃもう今暑いから。少しよ。オッケー、that's Okay, that's a very good observation. <laughs> he has a very wide imagination. ブラスケしている可能性が。こいつ、僕の心が読めるのか。ほら、お前、お前、お前、お前、お前、お前、お前、お前、お前、お前、お前、お前、お前、お前、お前、お前、お前、お前、お前、お前、お前、お前、お前
お疲れはいしょうがないなじゃあ次は私がおぶってあげる、うん、やだよおんぶとか恥ずかしいし何それしかし,し,かしそんないつも一緒の彼氏さんでもここにはなぜか一緒には来ない Right Okay, I do have some thoughts on that. So I think the reason why she's spending a lot of time in the library eating snacks is because she, she herself is embarrassed or she's hiding the fact that she likes to eat from her friends because she has this image of being a model and models are usually thought to not eat too much or not eat unhealthy food, which obviously she's eating right now. Um, if you can... If you can see what she's eating, she's eating junk food and chips. So, obviously, I think she's trying to protect her image from other people. Although, I don't really know why that should be of any. I don't know how that actually will affect her image because even though she's eating a lot of junk food, she's able to maintain her figure. So, it doesn't. I don't. I don't get it. I don't understand why she has to hide it. Maybe she doesn't want to share with her friends. That that could be another reason, but it doesn't seem to be the case. But that, that could be one of the reasons. Anyway, let's continue. She probably no. She she's not that perceptive. I I don't think so, bro. Definitely not. Wait, what? Are there fans that actually smell differently from other fans? And why is she smelling the fans so thoroughly? Well, maybe it's scented. Yeah, he should just, you know, have normal interactions with this girl that he intends to kill. Because then I think he might become a normal person. ね。はい。今日プールないよな。なるほど。ブラスケ帽子にか。え、それはそれで。はい。お、マイコ。よし。え、今。今度はなんだ。お。いつか。ここに座って。早く。何オッケー、what? Okay, well, yeah, me too. What's going on? <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> Alright. Has she noticed? Okay, wait. Yeah, if that's exactly the reason why. Okay. Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay. Maybe, okay. Right. <laughs> mm. I wouldn't say that's unfair. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to say I'm pretty sure that she was still visible even even when she hid under the table. 
So it was very interesting how her friend actually baited her out of that position. But okay, so now we do have, an, I guess, an answer to why she eats alone during recess. And that's because she can't, she, her friend can't eat, can't eat junk food. So she's doing it out of consideration because she likes snacks. It's not because uh, she's embarrassed of or trying to protect her image, but it's in consideration of her friends, which is a really nice trait to have. All right, let's continue. なつよすにも開け。今週末に迎える。この世で退屈祭の次に無駄な行事。文化祭。Right. He is into a lot of horror stuff, so I'm not sure if he's doing a lot of help or if he's doing a lot of uh, stuff contributing to this, to the culture festival. But uh, it doesn't seem like he's the type to also take part in a lot of group activities. He seems to be the loner type, so uh, it's very interesting how this will shape out, I think. Yeah, see, he wants to not be there. Wait, is he? Mm, okay, that's very interesting. Yeah. あ、そっか。あと、ここはもう少し暗く。なるほどね。ん。これは<笑> much fan service. なのでは。こんな感じかな。あ。全然ダメなんだよ。ボア。何かわしてしかないだろ。いいんだよ。市川が教えてくれたから。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Right. Yeah. He's gonna have to take one for the team here. He has to take one for the team here. And <laughs> okay, she's gonna clear her things up. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's very good. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. I like this dude, and I like that girl too. Oh, 
けど何も書いてないとこんにゃくみたいだねえあ,あじゃあ Okay, so finally we get to see his skills. Oh. He has really nice handwriting too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So he's really the artistic and creative type, isn't he? It's one of those moments. He's gonna freak out, maybe? Oh, no. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 I see. But he's probably a year or two older than they are. Okay. That's a very interesting perspective. ここ<笑> Okay. <笑><笑>ここが駅だからこの辺にお菓子の村岡があるんだよ真っ先に探すとこそこどういうことは私んちはこの辺りあ <laughs> 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 Okay, that was pretty smooth. <laughs> Ah, that's pretty adorable. What? That's it? No way. <laughs> oh. That went by so fast. I felt like there wasn't much really that happened, but... Oh, wow. I wanted more, actually. That's why I was thinking, like, there should be something more. 
Okay. All right, so that was a really good episode. There were a few comedic moments, and now we actually were able to find out why Yamada always goes to the library on her own and eats her snacks there. So it's because she wanted to... She was considerate of, of her friend who cannot eat snacks. And because she's a snack lover, she just go and go to the library during recess and eat this, eat her snacks alone. And that's where she and Ichikawa would often cross paths. And okay, so we finally, we finally have an idea why Ichikawa has this murderous intent. Why Ichikawa wants to kill Yamada. And it's mostly just because, I, I don't know if that's the only reason, but it's because she invades his personal space or his privacy in the sense that because uh, she has been eating her snacks in the library which he considers his sanctuary since nobody else goes there and being a loner you always want to find a place where you can be alone so that's the main reason given here that's his main reason for why he wants to kill yamada i don't know if if he has other reasons but that's what he showed here the development of their relationship though is very interesting i i like the fact that they are slowly kind of becoming friends because of these small interactions as they've had in the library during the preparation for the culture festival and the fact that he also protected hara the girl who wrote yamada the name yamada on one of the tombstones that was a very bro thing to do for uh, of, of him that he what he did was very commendable and noble because you can't just throw somebody under the bus so because you were the one that people think wrote that so that's why he he just took the blame right he he took the fall but later on hara clears up the misunderstanding and i think that that gained ichikawa some plus points uh, from yamada and that was very interesting there was some fan service in this episode although uh, i'm not really sure if that had anything any kind of value to to add on to what this show already is i really like it it's very lighthearted, despite the the thoughts of murder but i contend that ichikawa doesn't really want to kill her he just says that because he's annoyed and he's acting out but because of these small interactions that they've had and the picture that they took together in that room i think because of that he's slowly falling for her i'm not sure but i think that's that's going to be the start of it uh if they're going to have a relationship in the future i think that's the point where ichikawa will look back and say, I started liking this girl at this time because it was so random. It was so random, but it's that, but it's that kind of moment that your your heart will skip a beat just out, out of the blue, you know, randomly, suddenly, the girl that you've been wanting to kill, although I think it's just because he's actually attracted to her. He's attracted to her, but he is expressing it in a way that, you know, I wanna, I wanna kill you, which is very weird, very unhealthy. <laughs> I think he's just confused. I think he's just confused with his feelings and now he's trying to sort those out. And with that photo, that will probably give him the clarity that he needs. And that clarity is that he likes this girl and he doesn't actually want to kill her, but he wants to pursue her. But you know, he, there are a lot of obstacles in his way. We have the senpai who's flirting with Yamada and hitting on her. He, he hit on her the previous episode. He was a little bit forceful and aggressive there as well. And Ichikawa, with his protective instincts, paused the scene so that their attention will be deflected. And in this, in this episode, we have Yamada's posse protecting her. And once again, just in the perfect time, Ichikawa comes swooping in and deflecting the attention. And that led to their, I guess you can say, intimate moment. Their moment with each other, where they, where he got a photo with Yamada. So very, very nice episode. I liked the development and the progression of the narrative so far. I also think that the friend, the best friend Kobayashi, is a very interesting character. She's basically a bro to Yamada, even though Yamada keeps taking advantage, taking advantage of her. But you know. 
I guess that's how it is with close friends, you know, it's a give and take relationship. And I think she will be very instrumental in the coming episodes, especially when it comes to Yamada's romantic endeavors. Because I feel like the, the rest of the group, except for that girl, that girl, I don't know her name, the, the one with the orange head, uh, the, the one with the orange hair, that girl probably doesn't know that the guy is hitting on Yamada. And that's why she just said yes. Meanwhile, Kobayashi was... I'm not sure if it's Kobayashi or Chi. Let's just call her Kobayashi. I think she's Kobe. Meanwhile, Kobayashi was trying to protect her, but everything worked out in the end. I'm really excited to to see what happens next. I want to know. I want to know more about the characters as well. I want to know more about Ichikawa, what's going on. In, well, we know what's going on in his mind, but what happened to him, why he's like that. Or maybe he's just because, you know, he's in that phase. He's in his awkward phase and he doesn't know exactly how to socialize with other people, perhaps. And that's why he's acting that way. But I want to see how the two of them develop their friendship. And then hopefully later on how they become a couple. Anyway, this was episode 2 of Boku no Kokoro no Yabayatsu. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next episode.